Hello friends. In this video, we are going to look at AWT list control. Here, we are going to make this list control as a multi-select list control. Then we will show the selected text in a text area. So this video assumes that frame window was already created. If you want to know how to create the frame window, watch the very first video in this video series. The playlist name is 04 Java AWT. Alright, let's have a quick preview of Java AWT list component. The list control in Java AWT can operate in two modes. The modes are single select mode where you can select only one item in the list control or multi select mode. Here you can select multiple list items. We can make the list item as multi select in the constructor by sending a boolean flag or if the list control is already constructed then you can make a call to set multiple selection by passing the boolean flag. So if you pass boolean true then the single select list control will become a multi select list control. In this tutorial, we will create AWT list as multi select list and we will list all the selected item in a text area component. So that's the example we are going to create. Let us look at the example. So this is the example we are going to create here in this uh, AWT tutorial. So the, this control is the AWT list control and here you can select multiple list items. At present you are seeing five list items here and there is a scroll bar towards the right. So there are five more items that is not shown here but by scrolling you can navigate through other five items. So this is the text area, here we will show what are all the items selected by the user. So when you click get fruits, it lists what are all the items selected in the above list control. The clear output will clear the content already filled in the text area. Now let us go to the Eclipse demo and we will create this example. So after the after this demo you will get to know how to create a multi select list control and how to retrieve all the selected items. First let us uh, provide the action listener support for our uh, frame window and if you see this is a blank frame window. Because we have two button in this example so one is a get list item and another button is to clear the text area. So the button click is handled by this action listener. Alright, so our action listener is ready. We will implement it later.
now we will declare class level variables so you can see what are all the components uh, imported now we will create our uh, list control here if you see this, this is the list control we created uh, here this first parameter 5 which tells how many items to show so this is the constructor we are using there are other flavors here the first parameter is in rows that means how many uh, fruit we want to show here so here we are we, by default we want to show five list items then the mode we are setting it as a true multiple mode so when multiple mode is set to true the list control allows you to select multiple items in it next using the add method we add 10 fruits to the list control all right in our example uh, we have a list control then we have two buttons and one text area let us create the button and text areas so here is the text area um, for the text area here we are specifying we are constructing it using the third flavor of this constructor so number of rows we are specifying it as 5 and number of columns 50 that means the text area will show 5 rows by default and if it exceeds 5 rows then it will show a scroll bar so we already looked about text area so let us leave that now next we are creating two button one is a get fruits button and another one is a clear output button now the controls are ready and they are in the heap now we will add these controls to our uh, frame window to add the control to frame window we have to use the add method so before that we will set flow layout to our uh, frame window so first we are setting flow layout and we are importing that from java.awt package so after setting the layout we are adding all our four controls list control and then two buttons and a text area since the controls are added to the frame now we will run once and see how it looks so these are all the controls added now and these buttons won't work because we haven't handled the event so this is the text area and if you see here it is showing only five fruits but here we added 10 fruits so it shows only five fruits because to the constructor we specified five suppose if i make it as three and if i run it again now it will show only three items by default let me set it back to five let us run it again and if i scroll you can see the remaining fruits all right now let us make selection so once i click an item it will get selected and you can move your mouse and select whatever fruit you want so if you see here now the list control is allowing multiple selection now let us make it as a false and check again so apple is selected if i select banana apple will get deselected 
and banana get selected so this is the single select mode all right now let us move to the uh, event handling part to handle the event we need to register these two buttons get fruits and clear why because when i click get fruits suppose if we selected i selected three fruits here orange grapes and strawberry from the bottom when i click get fruit i want to display all these fruits that's one task we want to do then when no fruit is selected and if i click get fruits we want to display no fruit is selected then if i click clear output i want to clear all the uh, uh, items displayed here in this text area so if you see all these actions are associated to the button click event so now we need to register these two buttons with the action listener so we our frame window already supports action listener and handler function is here now we will go ahead and register our buttons get fruit and btn clear with action listener by making call to add action listener function so in the action performed handler first we want to make sure which button is clicked so here e dot get source will give the source of the event if you see here both the button will produce the action event so we registered with action listener so get fruit button as well as clear button both will produce the action event and we will land up here so e dot get source will tell which button was clicked by the user so here we are checking the instance of the button so we can place uh, one more check if e dot get source is uh, btn clear then we need to clear the text area we'll just set a empty text that will clear the text area now we will go to btn get fruits here if you see first we made a call to get selected items from awt list we are marking call to get selected items so it gets the selected item on this uh, scrolling list so it returns a string array so we collected that inside a string array selected fruits then we are just checking um, if length is zero that means user doesn't select it anything in that list control so in the text area we say that no fruit selected otherwise user selected at least one item so so that will be here in the string list or string array so here we are making a for loop and we are iterating through the selected fruits then for each fruit we are appending it to our text area control now we will uh, test it so let me select apple banana and jackfruit and papaya so there are four fruits selected now let's click on get fruits and you can see all four fruit listed here so if i select the already selected fruit again it will deselect that so let me clear the output then click on get fruits again and you can see that it displays now only one fruit i mean three fruit now let us deselect those two and select a completely new list let's clear the output so 
now you have the idea of how the multi selector list in awt works that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for uh, watching bye